Okay, welcome back to the broadcast. Now that you selected your hive body, whether you went with the nuke that I suggested, a five frame, very simple, very light, very inexpensive colony, on up to a 10 frame deep body, it does not matter which one you have if you don't know how to get bees. There are different ways to get your bees. My favorite and the most fun and most rewarding way is to catch your own swarm. You can either wait for somebody to call you and say, hey, there's a cluster of bees in my tree. Will you come get them? Or the better way, take your five frame nuke. And this is another reason why I love the five frame nuke. It can be used as a standalone hive or it can be used as a bait hive. Very simple. Well, what do you use for bait? How do you get honeybees to come to this box? Number one, a mediocre to small size swarm is gonna look for a cavity. It can be in a car, in a house, but mostly trees is what they naturally look for, 10 to 15 feet off the ground. And they're looking for a cavity about that big. Convenient, isn't it? Now that you have your cavity set up, what do you put in here? I always put one frame with, it's best if you can get one frame with good, clean, drawn comb. If you don't have that, a good, clean foundation piece. Put that sucker right in the middle. If you put five frames in here, when that B goes out to find a place for his swarm to go, he's gonna go in here and it's not gonna be that open cavity. It's gonna be this thing, this dark thing he walks into that's crowded. That's not gonna work. So you just need one frame in here, right in the middle. Perfect. It's got comb in there, it's got beeswax. It should smell like home, right? Sure. And they may move in without this next step, but we are going to make our own swarm lure and that's gonna really be the icing on the cake. How do you make your own swarm lure? Honeybees put off a homing pheromone. If we had a swarm naturally find this cavity, you would see them with their butts stuck up in the air fanning and they would be fanning and giving off the smell of a pheromone that other bees are gonna smell and they're gonna say, oh, we found a home, let's move in. There's a couple of ways that you can get that pheromone. The easiest way is to go to your local store. I got this at CVS, the drugstore. It's lemongrass oil. Now don't make the mistake of going in there and saying, oh, they don't have lemongrass, they have lemon essential oil. That won't work, I've tried it. Never had any success. It has to be lemongrass. And this stuff smells absolutely wonderful. It smells like a Jolly Rancher. Smells great. It, it smells like home. So now how do you use this in here? I have seen so many different ways of this being done. The one that I have personally had success with a way that I can tell you this works. Can't guarantee that it'll work on every one of your bait hives, but I have caught swarms this way. Just any paper towel. This is the size that I like to use. Okay, fold it over once. Twice. And that's okay, you can do it like that. Now, you will not believe this. This is nuts. Now, if you get this stuff on you, you're gonna smell like lemongrass for days. Well, maybe not days, but for a while. I go with a light sandwich baggie. I would not go with a storage bag. They're very thick. And what you're wanting to do, take this lemongrass oil, and it's an essential oil. It's best if it's food grade, but any, you know, lemongrass oil will work. What you do is you take this and you're gonna use your paper towel as a wick. You're gonna go one, two, three. Well, I got four, but three is really all you need, okay? 
Really, two to three. Now what you'll do, take that paper towel and just do it quick on the entrance. That smells so good. All right, let's see if this fits good this way. Yep, fits right in there. All right, now what I do is I lay it flat and I'm gonna zip this guy up, okay? Those honeybees will be able to smell this through the baggie. The baggie will keep the oil from drying out. And what you will do is take this, and what I try to do is make it sit on top of those frames. Or you can take it and lay it on the bottom in the back, on your bottom board in the back. Put this up here. Close him up. Now another thing to do, and I don't have anything here to do it with, but this entrance right here, you wanna put something in here to block this to where the opening is at most three quarters of an inch. Ideally, you wanna keep it between a half inch and three quarters of an inch. That is the opening that is what honeybees naturally look for. They want an opening that two honeybees at one time can pass each other coming and going. That way they can keep a steady flow of bees going out to forage and bees bringing the things that they foraged for, nectar and pollen, bringing that back in. So they want to be able to come and go. And also that size of an entrance is very easy for a couple of bees to protect. Two bees can line up beside each other and guard that entrance if need be. So if you leave this wide open, you may have a swarm come in. You may be lucky enough but to maximize your chances, close this up and close it up really good. Take this, put it 10, 15 feet up in the split of a tree. And a lot of people will use a ratchet strap and secure it in that tree. If you haven't got a tree, more than likely you're not in a great place for honeybees, but anywhere elevated. But believe it or not, I've had swarms move into these when I've had a dead out and I've just left the box sitting or the bees have just disappeared. Another swarm will just move in. It's not very common. I will say that it's not common at all, but these are a couple of ideas that will help you get free bees. Free bees are the best. If this doesn't work, don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. Call a local beekeeper or order you a package online. You get a package for anywhere from a, right now, $125 to $200 within a few months. It'll have filled two boxes up. You can split it and you'll have two colonies. Super, super easy. So that does it for this short little video. The next video, we will be setting these bait hives up on location. Thank you guys for joining me and continuing to follow me on this little series. And I look forward to making many, many more videos, more and more in depth. And please, in the comments, drop your questions. I will answer them there, as well as make future videos based on your questions, trying to make this thing we call beekeeping easier. Thanks for being here. You guys have a great day.